back to Honest Guy Drones. We do drone tech. We do video tech. And if you're like me, you've been flying these guys for a little while. You accumulated tons of video, tons of pictures. So what do we do next? It's time to put those pictures and videos to use. So today on Honest Guy Drones, we're going to be talking about what photo editor you use and what video editor you use. Because that's what these guys do. They take great video, great shots. So we're going to look at some of the tools we can use to kind of create our own masterpieces. When looking at photo and video editors, it all depends on what, what rig or what system you're using. For those using Windows, they may use something different than someone using a Mac will use. I myself, I use a Mac, so I'm going to look at some of the Mac options that you can use and kind of tell you how user friendly they are. If you're on a Mac for photo editor, I found that Affinity Photo is a great tool. It has lots of pro options in it and it's not a monthly service fee. A lot of people love Adobe and all that stuff, but there's a monthly service for you with those um, options. So I'm not trying to pay monthly. You pay that one time, I believe it's like 49 bucks and you're done. And that's a good option for. Okay, we have Affinity Photo here, and this is an option for the Mac. You load your raw image, your DNG file, and you can see the tools over here on the left. And then you can see the other tools you can use. You can do layers, you can do brushes. This is all processing a raw file. So here I'm just going to take the brush tool. I see there's some darker areas in my photo. Um, just really highlight them. Not really going into depth, but just giving you a look at what you can do in Affinity Photo. And I'm highlighting some areas that I want to kind of change the area on. So I'm getting those guys highlighted, showing the rare images. And then when I change it over here, I can change the exposure. I can change the black, white, black balance. I can change a lot of stuff. That looks crazy. But here in Affinity Photo, you can do major photo upgrades right with this tool. And it's easy to use. It's a tool for the Mac. I would highly recommend it. Anybody out there, it's just a one-time fee, and this is your product. So anybody out there with a Mac, I suggest using Affinity Photo. It's a great tool. Now there's an Affinity Photo 2 out. Now video is a little bit different. Some There's some free video software, and there's some software that costs. So you got to put things in use. Ease of use, practicality. Can it run on your system? Again, I'm coming from a Mac. So some of the options that you can use for video, if you have a Mac for video, iMovie comes with it, but iMovie is kind of standard. You may want something a little bit better. A great free option, even if you're on a Mac or Windows, is DaVinci Resolve. It's a great system. You can do a lot of stuff. It is a learning curve, but if you're willing to learn, there's free courses, there's free YouTube videos where you can go in and play stuff out. And you can kind of learn the option. So here we take a look at DaVinci Resolve. You drag your image down into the timeline. And then you have the opportunity to edit it, add sound, just like any other video editor. Um, you can color grade in DaVinci Resolve. It's great for color grading. There is a learning curve if you're coming from other um, video editors. But DaVinci Resolve is a great tool. And you can kind of just look to see it. All of the things you can do within DaVinci Resolve. There's a lot of tutorials out for this software. A lot of programs and YouTube videos that help you get used to it, help you learn it. You can, it's some, it's some great things you can actually do in here. And it's a free product. There are some upgrades that are paid, but for the most part, DaVinci Resolve is free. Again, a great video editor and if you're color grading it's great it's great to use I tend to use a paid option when it comes to video editing I use Final Cut Pro it's just because I'm in the Apple ecosystem um, it works on my iPad it works on my Mac so Final Cut Pro is my option. I did pay for it the first time, but it updates and updates and you continue to get those updates. 
Um, it's a paid option, but it has some professional grade stuff on there. So if you're coming from Mac or Apple, Final Cut Pro is a great option. If you're at all used to iMovie, Final Cut will be a breeze from you. It has a lot of inputs in it. You can use sound effects. You can use sounds. You can use music. And you drag everything into your library, and it's there for you to use. Um, you can edit captions on your clips. You can make captions. You can make transitions. It's just a lot to Final Cut Pro. The entry fee into Final Cut Pro is a little bit high, but I think it's well worth it if you're an Apple user. You can use it on both the iPad and the Mac. It's a lot of stuff in here that you can use, and you can get real quality videos edited at this. You can color grade too on it, which is a plus. Not so much of a learning curve if you're coming from a Mac. When it comes to color grading, you can color grade on both. You can color grade on Final Cut Pro, and you can color grade in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're shooting raw video on your Mac, you're going to want to color grade. So both of these options can do that. So no matter what video editing software or photo editing software you, you want to use, there's always tutorials, YouTube courses. If, you, if you're new to photo editing and video editing, it's not, I mean, it's a learning curve for some of this stuff, but keep practicing, keep practicing, keep watching videos. You'll find new ways to do stuff and your stuff will look great. Well, I just wanted to give you some glimpse on some of the tools that I use for video editing, photography editing, and put in the comments what you use. What do you think is better? What system works for you? Again, I'm coming from a Mac perspective. I know my Windows users may have a whole nother spew on it. Well, signing out from Iron Sky Drones, as always, be safe and have fun flying.